Reverend Rob Shank here, president of the National Clergy Council and its lay affiliate, Faith and Action in the nation's capital. And I might add, identical twin brother to Dr. Paul Shank, in case there was some confusion there. We are not one and the same person, uh, but we did share nine months together in very cramped quarters. When we're in front of a pro-life audience, I like to introduce my brother Paul as my former womb mate. You'll get it. Anyway, I'm here to invite you to join Paul and me, Father Frank Pavone and Steve Perutka, a host of other national pro-life leaders, clergy and laity, who will be here January 22nd in Washington, D.C. to celebrate, yes indeed, to celebrate the National Memorial for the Preborn and their Mothers and Fathers. This fully dressed prayer service, completely ecumenical, will have virtually every Christian denomination represented as we gather for the only ever indoor pro-life prayer service inside the U.S. Capitol complex of buildings. Now, this is in its 14th year, and I know many of you will be here already preparing for the annual National uh, March for Life here in Washington. And this is the morning service indoors, and it's right within hearing of all of the leaders of the United States Congress. That's why it's such a powerful pro-life witness, and we need you there with us. So please plan to be here as you make all of your travel plans for the March for Life. Be sure you're here early that very same morning on January 22nd. We'll be gathering inside the Capitol Complex and we will remember all the victims of abortion while we celebrate God's great gift of life. What a powerful witness it is for us to be right in the midst of the United States congressional buildings within the hearing of our congressional leaders and members. That's what makes it such a powerful witness. So please be sure to be here. Take in two great pro-life events the National Memorial for the Preborn and Their Mothers and Fathers on the morning of the 22nd, and we will release in time, we'll dismiss in enough time for you to get down to the start of the annual March for Life. So I'll be looking for you January 22nd. Watch our website for detailed information. We're never told precisely what meeting room we will have until the last minute, so you have to check out our various websites, and we'll put them up on the screen here. The website for faithandaction.org, faithandaction.org. You can go to the National Pro-Life Religious Council website, Priests for Life, and a host of other organizations. Watch for the news, but be sure to be here. It won't be a real prayer service, a real witness to the gospel of life without you. See you in Washington on January 22nd.